Hello everybody, happy Thursday. I hope that you're all okay. Um, as you can see, I have decorated slightly in here. So hopefully it's put a smile on my face. Hopefully it'll put a smile on your face and we will get through this together and do lots of fantastic home learning. So today in phonics, we are going to carry on thinking about our captions. I've been so impressed so far this week by seeing all of your writing of captions. And today we're going to do another one and there might be another challenge as well. But remember in phonics, we always start with our sound cards. So let's go through them. Are you ready? Let's go. that one. Well then, I'm dropping my cards. What's that one? Mmm, well done. Eh. Uh, and do you remember what it is? Two letters, one sound, it's a diagram. Well then, and if I put them together, what's it going to be? And it's a digraph because it's got two letters, one sound. Well done. Well done. What's that one? Mm. B, b, b. Then <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Keep going. Well done. Well, we've got another digraph, and it sounds like well done. What's this one? It's another digraph, it sounds like. Zzz. Well done. Oops. <laughs> What's that one? Yeah, well done. We haven't done this one for a little while, so we'll just practice it a little bit. My turn. Yeah, your turn. My turn. Yeah, your turn. Fantastic, it is. Yeah. And we've got Zzz. Fantastic. Okay. Well done. Now we are going to whiz through our camera words and our keywords. Now, if you have a look on the plan today, I've given you a special challenge in reading. So not only are you going to keep reading your books, go on to Oxford Owl if you'd like to and practice your, um, your keywords and your word boxes at home. You're already doing all of that and you're all brilliant at it. So I've given you an extra challenge. I wonder if you can do a video just like me doing your camera words and your keywords. Now I have put some on the website. You can either print them off and cut them out or you can try and write them. And that links to our writing. It all links in today. So you could either write them and then that's your writing done already and then use them for your video. Or you can print them off, use them in your video and then use them to help you write. So I cannot wait. If you don't want to video it, that's absolutely fine. But I'd like you to try and teach somebody in your house or you can teach me and Miss Cook by doing as a video all your camera words and, key, uh, and keywords. So let's do them together now and then I can't wait to see what you do with them. So let's have a look. The first one is I No Go To Into the. Well done. Onto our keywords. Ready? It. On. An. As. And. At. Is. Ah. Well done, everybody. Okay, right then. We've done our sound cards. We've done our keywords. 
and our camera words. So let's crack on with a little bit of writing and reading. Okay. So today's caption is all about this picture here. Can you see what it is? It's a mat. You might call it a rug as well, but for this today, we're calling it a mat. You might wanna have a go at the word rug anyway. But we are going to be looking at this. So just like we've done earlier in the week, we've got our seed challenge, our leaf challenge, and our tree challenge. I've been so impressed with the number of people who've been doing all three challenges. That is amazing, so well done. And I can see that you're starting at the seed challenge and getting harder each time. Your determination is amazing, so keep it going. So for our seed challenge today, I've upped it a little bit. You've been doing initial sounds, which is the first sound in a word, and you've been brilliant at it. I want you to have a go at the whole word. So you're going to do the word mat, red, and big. So you can use your robot arms to segment, to split up those sounds in the word and work out how you're going to spell it. So the first one is the word mat. What's the first sound in the word mat? It is mm. Mat starts with a m. Mm. So we know it's m. Mm. Mat. Mm. Ah. Mat. What's that last sound? Mat. T. Absolutely. So we put it all together. M. Mm. Ah. Mat, mat, and then you can have a go at writing it. So I'd like you to have a go at mat, red, and big. The leaf challenge is the next step up, and you're going to write a caption. And the caption is, it is a red mat. It's how many words long? Five words long, I reckon you can do it. Now, do you remember the other day, we were practicing saying our sentence before we wrote it. That's a really good thing to do. So when you do this, have a go at saying the sentence three times before you even pick up your pencil. So let's practice doing that. It is a red mat. Let's do it again. It is a red mat. One more time. It is a red mat. Well done. And that way you can help yourself remember what words we're going to get in our sentence. So the first word would be it. And that one we already know because it's one of our keywords. Okay. The tree challenge. If you've done the leaf challenge, you're like, you know what? I can keep going. I can do the tree challenge. It's an even longer sentence. And I have put in a proper challenge today. I've put in the word. Let's see if you can spot what word I've put. It is another one of our keywords, and it's this one here. Can you see what it is? It's the word and. And now we know how to read it, we're going to learn how to spell it. So let's practice our sentence. It is the mat. Mat is, is, because we know that one, it's a keyword. Red, red, we know this one and black now that's a really tricky word at the end you might want to use your help your um ask your grown-up for a little bit of help to write it out but i know you can do it B -black. now when we look at this word black what can you spot can you spot something B -black. the k at the end now what is the k on your digraph glasses can you spot it it's a digraph. So we're going to put a little line just to remind ourselves that this is a digraph. So we've got b, l, a, k. It's quite a long word, but I reckon you can write it. Okay, we are going to have a go at one of these challenges now. Okay, so today I have picked the tree challenge, the tricky one. We're going to do it together and we will absolutely get through it. So do you remember the sentence? Let's practice it. It's the mat is red and black that's a lot of words Are you ready we're going to do it again the mat is red and black one more time the mat is red and black okay so what's the first word we're going to write the now can you spot it on our um on our word mat there it is the word the Absolutely. Now, I'm also 
going to think, mm, how can I make this even better? I'm going to put a capital T at the start of my sentence. So let's have a go. We've got the word the, but I know I'm going to do a capital T. And from yesterday, I remember that a capital T looks like this. It starts at the top and then goes across. T. We've got the T, then we've got a go and then we finish with an e eh. trying to sit my letters on the line oh it's a bit tricky the what was the next word the mat okay let's sound out mat we've got m at mat brilliant now remember i'm going to leave my finger space i'm going to put it on my screen so that i remember i know you can't see my hand but i'm going to go around my finger mat right i'm going to start here we're going to go entry stroke up and stop down, over the mountain, over another mountain, a flick, mat, mat, hmm, okay, mat, right, I'm going to write a, there we go, is that an a, oh, I'm not sure that's right, actually, mm, oh no, I've written an oh, uh. oops, never mind, right, let's get rid of that then, let's get rid of it, and rub it out, and we'll try again. And ah, hmm, where's the at ah on the sound mat? Can you spot it for me? <gasps> there it is. Okay, I just took the flip the wrong way. Let's try again. We're going to go entry stroke up and stop, back around, up and flick. That looks better, doesn't it? Mat. Ah, that's hot. And we're going to do a little, t not the capital one that we did at the start of the sentence, because we don't need a capital in the middle, do we? The mat. The mat is okay finger space and then i reckon i can just about fit it on the end of the line is do you remember it's one of our keywords i so i'm going to write my i and just on the end i'm going to write my s and slither down the snake okay the mat is what was the next word the mat is red okay let's robot talk red R -e -d red red brilliant okay so my first letter is an r i'm gonna pop that straight in r e and then we've got d oh it's a bit tricky on here but i'm trying my best the mat is red and that was that word wasn't it the word that we know how to read, and we're now going to learn how to spell it, it's a keyword, and, and, I reckon we can do it. Finger space, round the other side, and, so we know it starts with an a, a, n, d, a, n, d, and, and it's made our sentence even longer, look. The mat is red. I could have stopped there, but I wanted to challenge us. And so I put in and, and then we can add another word. The mat is red and black. Do you remember that word from before? Let's have a little look at it. B black. Okay, let's have a go. Let's have a go. Now I'm just going to move myself out of the way so I've got a bit more space. There we go. So we're going to go finger space and then b. L A and then our digraph do this one. Oh, whoopsie, there we go. Wow, just fit it on the end, and I'm gonna put a tiny little full stop. The mat is red and black. Thank you very much for your help. Right then, so today you're going to try one of those captions. And if you're feeling like you might want to stretch yourself even more, why not come up with your own caption? Think of something else you can say to describe the mat. Okay, well done everybody for today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.